The COVID-19 pandemic has ravaged the world, but it seems the U.S. has been hit particularly hard. A combination of poor preventative measures, as well as citizens and government officials not taking the virus seriously enough, have caused infection rates to skyrocket. Being cooped up inside has taken its toll on those who take the virus seriously, but many people have chosen to shirk their responsibilities by refusing to wear masks and spending time in large crowds. As a result, infection rates continue to climb. Infection rates rates were relatively low during the summer when people spent more time outdoors. Studies have shown the virus travels more efficiently indoors where there's less airflow. Now that it's cold outside again, infection rates have gotten worse. Sadly, many people have gone nearly a year without seeing loved ones. Because of this, quite a few families decided to take a risk during the holiday season and hold big Christmas and Thanksgiving dinners. Without proper social distancing guidelines in place, however, those large gatherings are the perfect opportunity for the virus to spread. While it may seem worth it at the time, is it really worth seeing your family members if you're potentially putting their lives at risk? We've already seen an increase in infection rates as a result of Thanksgiving gatherings. And on New Year's Eve, many people likely went out and partied, completely oblivious to the danger they were putting themselves and others in. Unfortunately, this pandemic means we all have to make sacrifices. As difficult as it is, the safest thing you can do is stay inside and hold video chats rather than meeting with someone face to face. The sooner we all do our part stopping the virus, the sooner our lives can go back to the way they used to be. With nearly 20 million COVID-19 cases in the U.S. alone, it should come as no surprise to learn that even some celebrities have contracted this dangerous virus. In today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the celebrities who let their guard down and contracted coronavirus as a result. Make sure you stick around because we're going to reveal how famous actor Dwayne The Rock Johnson dealt with COVID-19. Neil Patrick Harris Neil Patrick Harris is a revered actor, known for his work in sitcoms such as Doogie Howser, M.D. and How I Met Your Mother. More recently, he played the evil Count Olaf in the Netflix original show A Series of Unfortunate Events. Early in the pandemic, beginning in late March, Neil Patrick Harris noticed he had some flu-like symptoms. He tried remaining optimistic, but soon after, he lost his sense of taste and smell. After that, it became clear that he, as well as his husband and two children, had contracted the virus. After learning they were infected, the family responsibly quarantined until they were better. In an interview with Today, Harris explained, It was not pleasant, but we got through it and are feeling good. Dwayne The Rock Johnson Dwayne The Rock Johnson first earned his fame in athletics, starring in both American and Canadian football and also dominating the ring as a pro wrestler. He's since retired from his athletic work and focuses on his acting. He's recognized as being the highest paid actor in the world. Unfortunately, he announced through an Instagram post that he, his wife, and their two children all tested positive for COVID-19. He explained the family likely contracted it from hanging out with a few close friends. Thankfully, they're all recovering well. Robert Pattinson Robert Pattinson began his acting career in the popular Twilight series. Most recently, Pattinson managed to land the coveted role of Batman. While working on the film, he contracted coronavirus. Unfortunately, it's incredibly difficult to maintain social distancing guidelines while filming a movie, and Pattinson paid the price. He's made a speedy recovery, however, and after following the proper quarantine protocols, it's expected the filming process will continue without any major setbacks. Jillian Michaels Jillian Michaels is a fitness trainer who gained national fame working on the hit TV show Biggest Loser. At first, she was taking the virus very seriously and following proper social distancing protocols. Over time, remaining in quarantine began to take its toll on her. She grew lonely and met up with a close friend who did her makeup and hair. It was her only close interaction with someone outside her immediate family. However, she unfortunately contracted the virus after just that one interaction. After recovering from it, Michaels made a serious statement during a Fox Business interview, saying, If you're not in a mask, and that person is not in a mask, and they have COVID and have no idea, anticipate you will likely get it. Tom Hanks Tom Hanks is a two-time Oscar-winning actor who's legendary in Hollywood. He has starred in films like Forrest Gump, Saving Private Ryan, and The Terminal. Tom and his wife, Rita Wilson, are both 63, which puts them at risk of suffering severe symptoms due to coronavirus. Both of them traveled to Australia, where they were working on a film. They both contracted the virus and felt tired and achy as a result. However, they were extremely lucky because their symptoms were not much worse than this. They spent time in isolation until they finally felt better. Thankfully, Tom Hanks his COVID symptoms were manageable, and he and his wife made a swift recovery. However, not every celebrity has been so lucky. Stick around, because we're going to reveal how Academy Award-winning actor and director Mel Gibson was hospitalized due to coronavirus. And if you're enjoying this video so far, take a moment to like it and subscribe to our channel for more. 
Usain Bolt Usain Bolt is a Jamaican sprinter who's won eight Olympic gold medals. In fact, he's considered to be the best sprinter in world history. He holds records in three different relays, the 100-meter relay, the 200-meter relay, and the 2x400. On August 21st, his friends surprised him with a birthday party. Just a day after the festivities, Usain Bolt got a COVID test. To his horror, he tested positive. Health officials were alerted to the party and did their best to trace all the contacts he met. Thankfully, Usain Bolt was able to recover from the virus without any major complications. Chris Cuomo Chris Cuomo works as an anchor for CNN. He began experiencing common coronavirus symptoms, including chills, shortness of breath, and a fever. He got a test, which revealed he had contracted it. Because his family had not been infected, he quarantined in his basement, where he continued to film his own shows despite being quite ill. Cuomo took it upon himself to educate his audience members about the true dangers of coronavirus. After a long bout of illness, he was able to recover smoothly. Pink Pink is a Grammy-winning singer and songwriter. She started out her career in the music group Choice, but was eventually offered a contract to go solo. She's made hit pop songs ever since then, and her unique style and flair makes her work instantly recognizable. She and her three-year-old son both contracted COVID-19, but after two weeks of battling through the illness, they both recovered well. After her recovery, Pink donated $1 million to two different coronavirus relief funds, sending a huge wave of gratitude towards healthcare workers. Mel Gibson Mel Gibson is an Academy Award-winning actor and director, known for his work in films like Mad Max, Braveheart, and Hacksaw Ridge. In April, however, the 64-year-old actor tested positive for coronavirus. Being a senior citizen means he's at much higher risk of death and complications from the virus. He suffered serious symptoms and had to spend a week in the hospital. Healthcare workers treated him with remdesivir, a drug that appears to treat COVID-19 effectively. Despite these difficulties, Mel is now feeling much better and can be expected to continue his prolific acting and directing work. It's no surprise with all the rising COVID-19 cases around the world, at least a few celebrities would also be the victims of the virus. Were you more surprised to learn about the celebrities who were severely affected by the virus or the ones who were lucky enough to only have mild symptoms? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Factsverse for more.